What is up? Welcome in to This Week in College Baseball, brought to you by Driving the Line, Week 10 edition. My name is Alan Bell. We've got a great show lined up for you today, and we're going to go through everything that you need to know about betting college baseball this week. And let's go ahead and start with, we got a brand new top 25 and a brand new number one team in the country in the Texas A&M Aggies. They jumped to number one. Uh, you see the color codes here, teams that are in green means that they have moved up. Teams in red have moved down. Teams in white, <clears throat> excuse me, remain the same. And teams in blue are brand new to the top 25. So you see A&M moves up to number one after a monster series against Vanderbilt. Arkansas, after dropping two out of three to Alabama, drops to number two. Kentucky, all the way up to number three. Tennessee and Oregon State remain the same. You see six through 10. Clemson drops down. Florida State up. Virginia up. Uh, 11 through 15, North Carolina, Wake, another good Wake weekend there. They're starting to get it together a little bit. Vanderbilt drops after just a drubbing from Texas A&M. Louisiana and Oklahoma State move up. But uh, More on both of those teams here in a little bit. Oregon up. UC Irvine drops. Alabama from 25 to 18. Coastal Carolina. South Carolina, welcome to the top 25. Arizona, welcome to the top 25. West Virginia, Welcome to the top 25. Virginia Tech drops. Georgia, for the first time, welcome to the top 25. And Dallas Baptist drops. So that's the brand new top 25 for week 10. Really didn't mean a whole heck of a lot, but we like to go through it each week and just take a look at teams. And we'll break these teams down more as we go. Speaking of as we go, these are the key series that you need to know about this weekend of ranked teams. All right, number one, Texas A&M at Alabama. So we just mentioned Texas A&M laid it all over Vanderbilt. And guess what? They get to go to Alabama. This is two weekends in a row that Alabama hosts the number one team in the country. So keep an eye on that. And we were all over Alabama taking the series against Arkansas. Unfortunately, when we bet on Friday, we took Alabama. That was the only one that they didn't win, but we were all over Alabama and the ping pong theory. All right. Number two, Arkansas, number 20, South Carolina, Number four, Tennessee at number three, Kentucky. We'll break this game, this series down here uh, more in just a bit, but you have Tennessee, who leads the country in home runs and top five in runs scored against Kentucky, one of the best pitching teams in the country. This is going to be a heck of a series on the road for Tennessee as well. Number eight, Florida State at 12, Wake Forest. That's going to be a big one. Who can keep momentum going? Number seven, Duke at 23, Virginia Tech. Can Duke keep it going? Can Virginia Tech bounce back nicely? Georgia Tech at number 10, Virginia. All right, Virginia drops back a little bit, but this we're going to break this one down too. This could be a series to make money off of this weekend. More on that in a second. Number 11, North Carolina at NC State. North Carolina has been on a tear. Uh, at NC State is dangerous. Be careful with that. We'll talk more about that in a second. And then Ole Miss at number 24, Georgia. SEC matchup here. Let me just say, Georgia's coming in hot, but we might ride Georgia. We might continue to ride that one. So more on that one in a second. All right. Now, the Week 10 series that are under the radar that you want to pay attention to. Number one, Wichita State. Okay, I'm sorry. Let, let me rephrase. It's not number one. Wichita State at number nine, East Carolina. Wichita State's not a bad baseball team. Wichita State can score runs. They can also give up runs. East Carolina, they're playing great baseball right now. You might be able to get some really nice prices. Keep an eye on the totals as well. They'll probably be pretty low from the books, 12 and a half. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep an eye on game one and then go from there. You might see some, some nice run production. All right, number 22, West Virginia at Texas Tech. My God, you're going to see a run production from both of these teams. They can score them. They'll definitely give them up. This is going to be a wild, wild series. Absolutely take note of totals and overs in this one. All right, Northwestern at Illinois. I'm going to give you an Illinois stat that's wild here in just a second. But Illinois, ride them. All right, they have been playing unbelievable baseball as of late, and you get Northwestern at home. And then LSU at Missouri. LSU just got swept by Tennessee. Lost a previous series. Like, LSU 
has fallen out of the top 25 now, two weeks in a row. They got problems, real problems. However, I think this is the weekend that they could turn it around. You might get really nice money line prices here on LSU. You're going to have to pair it, uh, you know, in a parlay. It's not going to be that nice. But, yeah, this is a spot where LSU could and should turn this thing around. And especially being on the road, yeah, I, I, I think that they get after it there. So these four under-the-radar series, yeah, just take a note now of them. Okay, let's get to our Week 10 stat leaders. Like I said, home runs, all right? Tennessee leads the country with 95. Them and Georgia just continue to mash and mash and mash, and they have no plans of stopping of hitting bombs between either of them. So even I always with these two teams and their run productions and totals, uh, they don't always win every game, although they're both playing very well right now, uh, but they put up runs for sure. Austin P remains stalwart here. 86 home runs of the year. Utah Valley coming up 76 and Florida 75 Florida. It's a ton of home runs. They don't win a lot of games, but they hit a ton of home runs. So They'll give up runs as well. Florida is a great over team to play as well. All right, pitching. So you see the team and you see a number. The number is the opponent's batting average through the year against said team. So what I mean by that is this. Arkansas, number one of the country uh, in terms of opponent's batting average. Teams are hitting 193 against Arkansas this year. They just don't give up a lot of runs. Even in their losses, they don't give up a lot of runs. Their games are generally below 10 runs. Always keep an eye on Arkansas unders. East Carolina spoke about them. Opponent hitting 205 against them. They are another team that keeps games tight and keeps games low. Not afraid to use their bullpens and closers. They will just come at you with arms left and right. Louisiana, 207. They've been up here. All season long, this team has won a lot of games. Lamar, they've been up here all season long. We don't ever really get to bet Lamar, but shout out to Lamar. Opponents hitting 208. And then Kentucky, as we mentioned, opponents hitting 209 against the Wildcats this year. Look, that series against Tennessee, games are either going to be 3 to 1 or 15 to 12. We don't know which one we're going to get just yet, but those are stats to keep an eye on with these teams, both hitting, run production, and keeping runs low on opponents. All right. The Week 10 bounce back. Okay. So if you're brand new here, we speak about the bounce back and coming in hot. College baseball is very much a ping pong sport. All right. So teams that have bad weekends, you know, good ranked teams, they generally flip it around, have themselves a good weekend. Teams have a good weekend, have themselves bad weekends. Now, that doesn't apply across the board. Do not think that that's what we're saying. But it's all about looking at these and finding your spots of where you can really bet on a team that has every opportunity to win these games and quite frankly needs to. So what I mean by that is this. Let's go through it. All right. Number six, Clemson. Went one and three last week at home this weekend against Pittsburgh. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. We are betting Clemson this weekend. Number one. Needing them on the bounce back. Number two, they're better than Pittsburgh. And number three, they're playing at home. Check, check, check. Everything that we want out of there, all right? Number 23, Virginia Tech went two and two last week. And not terribly bad by any means. At home against number seven, Duke, be careful, all right? Might want to see game one in that series before you start going crazy with it. Number 13, Vanderbilt. As we said, went one and three last weekend, or last week, I should say, at home against Florida. Uh, Yeah. Look at Vanderbilt, not only money line to win games, even though, be careful, Florida, oh, just, oh, I know. Like, you just don't know what to get out of Florida. But keep an eye on totals. If you get 11 and a half, 12 and a half, even 13 and a half, yeah, you can see a lot of runs. Tim Corbin, the uh, head coach over at Vanderbilt, uh, it's probably not going to be a fun week over there uh, on West End here in Nashville, Tennessee. So, yeah. Vanderbilt, definitely going to be a team we're looking at at both money lines and totals. LSU, just mentioned it, right? With one and three this past week at Missouri. All right, we don't necessarily love that they're on the road, but it will help with the juice prices. And Missouri, although they're not a bad baseball team, they're not good. LSU, if they're ever going to turn it around, th this is when they need to do it. Uh, UCF, Central Florida, went 0-4 last week. 
They jumped into the top 25 for the first time last week and immediately out. Love them this weekend against Central Michigan. Absolutely love UCF. Keep an eye there. Hopefully the books give us those games to wager on. Yeah, UCF should handle their business against Central Michigan and especially being at home. Lastly, Mississippi State goes one and two this previous week. Uh, They're playing Ole Miss, big rivalry, obviously, um, and at home against Auburn. Auburn, not bad. Not good. Not great. Not bad. Mississippi State, kind of the same. But then playing at home and needing it? Yeah, yeah. Keep an eye on Mississippi State there. Uh, I don't know what to do with runs in this series, though. Mississippi State games can be very, very low scoring. Um, So can Auburn games. But they'll explode for that, you know, 16-run both sides game. Uh, Be careful with the totals. But, yeah, Mississippi State, this could be a team that we play throughout the weekend. All right, the opposite side. Teams coming in hot, right? This is where we try to identify, do we either keep riding them or do we fade them? Like last week or last weekend with Arkansas, they were just winning, 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 winning. It, it had to come back, and it did. So let's keep an eye here. Texas A&M 4-0 last week at Alabama. Ugh. Be careful. Ugh. We might want to see game one out of this one first. Tennessee 4-0 last week at Kentucky. Be careful. I like runs, though. I'll say that. Kentucky can score runs, too. And even though we just talked about them being such a phenomenal uh, pitching team, um, Tennessee can hit. Kentucky can hit. This should be a really, really good and fun uh, series. I'm liking runs, and the book should give us some pretty low totals uh, in that one uh, to start it out. All right, number eight, Florida State, 4-0. Last week, at number 12, Wake Forest. This is going to be a hell of a series. Uh, Both of these teams can score. Yeah, take a look at overs in this one as well. Number 24, Georgia, 3-1 and one at home against Ole Miss. Check. Yeah, we're going to be riding Georgia this weekend. Number 21, Arizona, 3-0 and oh last week. Welcome to the top 25 at home against Washington State. Check. We are going to be riding Arizona this weekend as well. And then we mentioned number 9, East Carolina, went 4-1 and one last week and is at home against Wichita State. East Carolina, play them until they give you a reason not to. Like I said, Wichita State's a good baseball team, but East Carolina, they're just playing excellent ball, and it goes further beyond just this weekend. So those are the teams to take a look at and keep a note on there. All right, week 10, your diamonds in the rough. All right, here's some stats for you. Indiana, we have spoken about Indiana and played Indiana all year long. Nine of Indiana's last 10 have featured double-digit run totals, meaning runs scored by both teams. These games are always in double digits. Always keep an eye on Indiana and their overs in the game. Wright State, right? We've spoken about them this year. They've scored 97 runs over their last seven games alone. Go look at it. It is insane. They lost one game 22 to 21. I think they lost another one 11 to 10 like six days ago. It doesn't matter like what happens, whether win or lose. Runs are getting scored. If you see Wright State pop up from the books, yeah, bet overs in those games and series. Illinois, they've won four straight and they're averaging 15.5 runs per game in those four. They are on absolute freaking fire. Absolute fire, Illinois. We don't always get to bet them. The books don't release them. It's kind of like how Oregon State was for a while. But if you get Illinois, go look at their recent history. Just absolutely smoking the ball. Oh, man, they are crushing at the plate. Texas, we've been going on this trend for a couple weeks. They did it again. They've lost the opening game now in five straight weekend series. That's right, five straight. They've lost the opening game. Make a note there. Oklahoma State in the top 25. They've scored eight runs or more in 10 straight games. Overs are hitting in Oklahoma State baseball games, the winning games too, obviously. So that's another team that many people might not be paying attention to, but we are. Finally. Louisiana, all right, spoke about their pitching. Four straight Louisiana games have failed to reach 10 total runs. Louisiana, they win games, and they 
are low, both in their runs and the other teams as well. So if you see Louisiana games come up this weekend, yeah, might well keep an eye there on the unders in what they have. That's the last slide. That's all we have. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in uh, all the time that we have. But we will be breaking down college baseball all week and all weekend long. We'll have everything that you need to bet and cash and smoke the books in these games. But till then, everybody, best of luck. It's Cashy's Tickets. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.